Nice job, Commander Rocket. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Awesome Knots, the beta of Awesome Knots to be exact. We've got Commander Rocket today. Really, really nice charge salvo, gets three missiles and some crazy burst damage with that. He's also got a laser trap which chews enemies up should they stay anywhere near it. And then you've got a rocket launch which uh, does a good amount of damage but it also, uh, you can use the recoil as like a third jump which is super cool. For the charge salvo, We've got an additional charge which brings it up to 4, even better burst damage, uh, increases the loading speed, pretty nice, increases base damage, something you probably always want to go for, and then you've got a uh, cooldown reduction when allies are near, super nice, uh, range of charge salvo, probably also something to go for, and then the uh, damage while the laser trap is active, and with the duration increase you can always keep the laser trap active, which is super super nice. Uh, you've got increasing the damage of the laser trap, which is awesome. Increasing length of the laser trap, I don't find it to be that great. Uh, adds another laser on the opposite side, but it also reduces the damage, so I usually don't go for that either. Increases the lifetime of the laser trap by one second, hell yes. That allows you to keep it up all the time. Uh, increases the rotation speed and also allows the rockets in the next skill to shoot even faster. And uh, yeah, you've got the rockets here. Which, if an enemy is standing on top of the laser trap, they're basically going to be dead. So, uh, really cool. Rocket launch, it deals a, a good amount of damage. It does fire pretty slowly, but the first skill allows you to increase the flight speed. Uh, which isn't very good if combined with the last skill, but we'll see about that. Uh, increased damage of rocket launch, of course something you want to go for. Increases the knockback for you and the enemy, which is really nice uh, for using it as a third jump. Uh, a trail of flares that damage enemies. That, uh, I think it's pretty useful. Uh, I haven't had too much experience with it. I usually go for the nuke bug first, which is basically a copy of Ted McPain's double airstrike. So one second after you hit the first one, you can get a second one, and it's great for surprising enemies. Mother of Bombs, uh, the rocket deals more damage when it flies for one second or longer. So you probably don't want to increase the flight speed if you're going for like the big damagey hits. I'm going to go for the nuke bug first and we will see what happens with Mr. Commander. Mr. Commander. Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> so uh, we've got everybody up on our fucking turret. I don't know where the allies are, but I was able to uh, snag an easy kill with the laser trap just there. Missed the uh, rocket launch on the clunk, but that's okay. Could have been an easy, easy double kill. The jump for Commander Rocket's rather short. I can't get up to the second platform without using the uh, the second jump or the rocket launch. The rocket launch, I think, is going to be really, really useful uh, as far as getting Commander Rocket out of trouble and things like that. Um, it gives him some extreme mobility. If you see an ability coming, uh, sentries... Black Hole Sun is, is one that uh, comes to mind immediately. You're able to just launch a rocket, get yourself out of the way, and you'll also uh, do some massive, massive damage to the enemies. So, here I'm trying to get the fucking Lone Star. Oh, a clunk is gonna explode on me. No, 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 not today. Almost got the kill on that clunk, uh, but Ayla stole it. I guess kills aren't that important, um, you know. I went in and did uh, smiles in the beta and got 20 plus kills. I said he's definitely going to get a nerf and he kind of did. Look how fast that laser trap chews up the droids. Um, yeah, smiles got his uh, his snare trap uh, nerf. It shoots slower now and the chain, while it is attached, is just a little bit longer, which is okay. Um, but yeah, he's definitely not as overwhelming as I would have thought him to be in the beta. Commander Rocket, I'm definitely not uh, overwhelmed by him either, but I think he is going to be an interesting character to play, especially with his uh, double jumping and awesome damage with that with that uh, super big rocket. And yeah, needless to say, the mobility from the super big rocket as well. Oh, almost able to kill some enemies there, but not quite. Hmm. You can kind of hit enemies behind the turret if they're standing uh, near the front. The explosions in the rocket is pretty big. I might like to see, uh, instead of flight speed increase, like a s explosion size increase, but usually the items that are set up for the characters are uh, somewhat set in stone. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. That is enough said. I think that uh, the recoil increase is going to be huge. 
because look at that, just able to rocket myself out of the way of Lone Star's dynamite. You see his hand go back, you fire the rocket, able to get some big damage in his face, and also uh, get myself out of trouble. So we'll see what I can do with this clunk. That laser trap is doing massive damage. I don't have any uh, increases on it at the moment. But yeah, we're able to chew him up relatively well. Unfortunately, he did get the health bubble, so I might be in a little trouble. Was able to blast him backwards into the laser trap. So there is some synergy between the skills. I don't think it's as uh, straightforward as somebody like Smiles, where you're just definitely want to use the chain and then smack people with the tail. There I'm using the laser trap to uh, scout just a little bit. It doesn't last as long, obviously, as something like uh, Sentry's um, teleporter or something like that, but it serves. It, it definitely does its job relatively well. So we've got a bunch of people here. I'm going to get the fuck out before it uh, turns bad. And yeah, they're sticking together. These bots relatively uh, better than we are at the moment. Uh, I want to demonstrate the, the rocket jump just like that. <laughs> You're able to get up to the top with relative ease um, using Commander Rockets, 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 Rockets. <laughs> and that fucking frog just took another missile to the face. Oh, not too brilliant these bots, but uh, that's relatively okay. Only two kills so far. Try and get some more. Um, right there. Dang. And I'll protect my droid just a little bit so we can get the extra damage on this turret. Hopefully bring it down. And yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before the clunk does something nasty. And we'll go home. I got 600 solar now, so uh, that's relatively good. And their top turret is gone. We'll do damage for the laser trap. And uh, duration is probably the other thing I want. Because it brings it up to 8 seconds, and 8 seconds is about what the cooldown is. So, um... If you get the damage increase for your charge salvo while the laser trap is active, you can basically always keep it up, which is really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, the laser trap is ultra important. Obviously, you want to place it correctly. Oh, I'm in trouble. Bye. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I really like Commander Rocket. Um, obviously, I like all the beta characters. Geronimo does a really, really good job of uh, creating these characters. They all feel really different. This frog's gonna give me a free kill, I guess. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, and yeah, Commander Rocket is uh, significantly different from characters that we've seen thus far. He's a really, really nice harasser. He's got some great mobility to him. And uh, that laser trap is a scary, scary thing. It does seem just a little bit hard to use if you don't place it directly on top of an enemy. But I think with the amount that people move around during uh, live matches and stuff like that, it's going to come in extremely handy. So we're going to chew up this last turret. No problem at all, I'm so sure. Look at that. Damage in the frog's face. And again, no upgrades for my, uh, my rocket at the moment. So it can do some major, major burst damage, especially if you get the damage increase and the... Uh, the increase in damage after one second of flight, which is really not that far. Um, the rocket can fly in extremely long ways. I would, I guess, compare it to Raylan's snipe or something like that because you can you can fire safely from behind your turret and smash the enemy's turret with it. Um, I'll have to do some more testing with that. Obviously, I'm able to take down take down three characters at once with my laser trap because they're all fucking standing on top of it. <laughs> so there's a triple kill. Fucking nice job. Nice job, Commander Rocket. I didn't know what to expect from the little guy with the missile launcher, but I'm definitely not disappointed. Um, again, the, the moves don't seem to have that much synergy on paper, just reading about them. I was like, I don't know how this is going to work out, but it seems to do relatively well. And uh, I'll just do some harassing from up here, as uh, Commander Rocket is meant to do. He's identified as a harasser not, which um, fits pretty well. Especially if you've got the four the four charge salvo, then you can uh, hit people for you know 300 damage, some such. Uh, it scales with level, obviously, but it does a good amount of damage, that's for sure. And I'll just uh, poke people from up here. Obviously, you also have the. Uh, the hit indicator, which is similar to Raylin and Rocco, unfortunately able not able to get the frog there, but uh, we're doing a really, really good job chewing up their base. I think this is going to be it. So friends, 
Commander Rocket, expect him... Ooh, there's another kill. <laughs> expect a live match uh, from him when he goes into the official Awesome Knots. And uh, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I think this is going to be a really cool character to play. Ten kills. Now we're doing okay. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then. Oh boy. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.